Thank you very much, Madam Chair. And look, I understand this is an emotional topic. I get it. But what we're doing here is, a plain, is plain reading of a poorly drafted amendment. You know, there's this thing called the Anti-Deficiency Act, and if a public servant, when the Appropriations Committee says you can't spend money to do something, they spend it, they can serve up to five years in prison for spending that money. A plain reading of this bill. If this bill meant to exclude human, if this amendment meant to exclude human trafficking, it's very simple. You put a comma after Section 2 and you say, except for prosecution under human trafficking laws. Because it's not just loved ones who bring a woman across state lines to obtain an abortion. It's sex traffickers. They sex traffic young women, and if those young women get pregnant, they have to get them an abortion. And if their state doesn't allow the abortion, they will cross state lines to get that abortion. If the world were perfect, the language as the amendment exists right now would work. But this world is not perfect. We have sex traffickers. They do bring women across state lines. It's a, de it's a defectively worded amendment. Now, the amendment to amend the amendment solves that problem. Of course, it does say that, okay, if you're helping the woman legitimately, your family member or something, yeah, you know, it excludes that as well. But the answer is actually to, the, to reject the underlying amendment, bring it back, properly worded, excluding human trafficking. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we don't want to admit it because we don't like it when, it when it looks us in the face, but human trafficking exists. Human traffickers cross state lines to obtain abortions. I know because in Maryland we're an abortion sanctuary and people cross state lines with third trimester abortions to have them done in Maryland. It happens. It's terrible. It could have been prevented with proper wording of the, of the underlying amendment. The underlying amendment was not properly worded. It doesn't exclude human trafficking. It's a simple reading. I'm no lawyer. You don't need to be a lawyer to read this and understand that a Justice Department person who has 12,000 other things to do, worried about an Anti-Deficiency Act violation, will say, you know what, I'm just not going to go after this human trafficker because it's unclear from this amendment whether or not I'm going to violate the Anti-Deficiency Act. I'll go on and prosecute another crime. I urge adoption of this perfecting amendment, and I yield back my time.